Hello, hello. This is 7JJ Heaven. My name is Lydia and today I have something special to show you. This is kind of swatch book, which I did in my in one of my sketchbooks. And uh, this sketchbook itself is very uh, extraordinary. <laughs> this is a hardcover uh, Escoda uh, company sketchbook. And uh, the cover is uh, uh, with canvas. And inside we have a very, very good quality watercolor paper. Uh, when I've bought uh, this uh, uh, sketchbook, uh, I have one or maybe three, don't remember well. Uh, and because they were so much uh, pricey, <laughs> Uh, I decided to to use them for uh, something uh, special, not just as a sketchbook which I uh, fill in within a month, uh, but for something I will use uh, again and again. That's the reason this is kind of a sketchbook. Uh, this is kind of uh, not sketchbook, but a swatch book. On the very beginning, you can see a uh, glue here, uh, Rolls Royce uh, uh, sign, because a Skoda, in my opinion, is kind of Rolls Royce uh, in uh, art supply world. And uh, I like to put sometimes different uh, um, and strange words, and uh, I named this. Uh, a swatch book as uh, fringe and bows. Uh, here are swatches of uh, gouache, and uh, here is something, uh, some piece of wood, uh, which left after sharpening the color pencils. Okay, so let's see what we have here. First is. Uh, Swatch book, uh, swatches of uh, fine tech uh, watercolor. All these uh, uh, watercolor are uh, metallic, and you can see this probably, and how it works on some uh, swatches. Here is uh, everything <laughs> uh, probably one of my dreams and as you can see i used here elements uh, uh, cut it uh, from uh, magazines but also some drawings some painting things like that i liked it this uh, small strange elements uh, to put together and have some special board. Okay, and see, we uh, you, you can uh, see this is, uh, maybe I will, sorry, for a moment, but uh, I have to do it like that for you to see all the, uh, all the spread. Uh, this is a swatch board of uh, Sonnelier. Sonnelier, uh, professional, are my favorite uh, paints, watercolor paints, as well as uh, Schminke. But uh, Sonnelier is really, really, in my opinion, very extraordinary. And you can also see here my favorite colors. This is uh, warm grey, sennelier grey, greenish amber and light grey. These four colors are absolutely fantastic. Here we have some 
doodles, watercolor doodles, and uh, this I see is done with uh, uh, watercolor pencils. Uh, and here again, it's always nice to to play a bit, even with your swatch book, <laughs> because this is your swatch book. You can do whatever you want with it. Washing machine as well as in my different uh, collages. And what is interesting, this uh, girl with the pearl, which has a mask on her face. But uh, this is really coincidence because I did this sketchbook um, three years ago, four years ago. And, uh, and I found this, uh, this element. And put here. Schminky Horadam. This is uh, another one uh, palette of fantastic watercolor. It's really, really uh, very, very nice watercolor. I especially like these uh, earth tones and uh, the colors like pearly and green. This is the color and uh, the, the name and the color. Uh, pine, pine is gray, neutral gray. These kind of colors, are to be, uh, of course, the <laughs> all earth tones. Very, very nice palette. Here is uh, Windsor and Newton palette. And uh, again, some earth tones here, pearly and uh, maroon, very, very nice color. I love it very much. Even uh, Potter's pink, uh, if it's uh, enough uh, uh, diluted, it looks quite nice, like here. <laughs> and uh, other earth, tone, uh, uh, earth tones, uh, especially uh, this burnt amber, uh, sepia, and indigo, paints grey, neutral tint. Neutral tint is one of my uh, favorite colors, especially I like neutral tint from Schminky. And here are some additional colors uh, which are not in the regular Windsor & Newton palette. They were produced uh, uh, a few years ago and I like them very much, especially this Indian red tip because it's very similar to uh, burnt sienna and uh, when, when I mix it with the sapphire, uh, sapphire uh, blue, it's really great, great mixture. So we saw a Newton uh, professional and some sketches just for fun. That was probably when I uh, came back from the uh, market and had all this beautiful stuff on my table. Some other sketch. This is uh, done in uh, color pencils. Here is no any watercolor stuff here. And another one thing. These are uh, swatches of inks. Mm, on this page, uh, inks, these are inks of uh, uh, Urban, this is French company, and uh, you can see the colors, sorry, of some of them here, Ambre de Birmagne, Vert Pré, Bleu Provence, Cacao du Brésil, Rose Cyclamen, Green Ouage, and so on and so forth, but also some other colors, Violet by Hiroshizuku, 
uh, Japan Company Mont Blanc. This is a very nice uh, violet also by Mont Blanc. So let's see what is here. Here is some food. <laughs> I was inspired in, you know, now there was many, many, uh, there were many uh, places where people started to doing this kind of food. Uh, and that was really very delicious, not like uh, McDonald's. But now everything is closed. And here I was uh, inspired by this uh, fantastic uh, uh, design. This is a look from the perspective of person who is, in my opinion, almost la laying on the street. <laughs> and here is uh, uh, my version of this. A bit different, but... That was fun playing with that. So as you guess, this watch book might be quite interesting. Here you can see the uh, Ganzai Tambi. This is uh, um, the box uh, of uh, Japan watercolor. They are made. They are handmade. And today they are uh, accessible everywhere. But the story connected with my particular box <laughs> is quite interesting because uh, a few years ago when I saw these uh, paints uh, uh, on YouTube, I uh, couldn't reach them here in Poland and even uh, in uh, countries around. And I was looking for somebody who is going to uh, uh, to Japan, and is able and uh, would be able to to bring it to to buy this for me and bring it here. And I found the this this uh, person that was a friend of my friend, and I asked this person by my friend, and it happened, and this person came back and uh, I received my uh, Ganzai Tambi big box <laughs> and I was so happy because of it and after just few weeks <laughs> this uh, brand was uh, available in every almost every uh, bigger art shop in Poland and that was so funny <laughs> Oh gosh, it happens. <clears throat> Again, some doodles and uh, um, collage. Uh, here are uh, swatches of uh, Pilot Iroshizuku. Pilot Iroshizuku has... Uh, fantastic uh, inks absolutely fantastic you can recognize here uh, Yamabudo which is the most pop one of the most popular I would say as well as um, Konpeki which is blue of the blue of the blue <laughs> uh, I personally like very much uh, Kuyaku Tsukiyo and uh, Shinkai uh, some muted colors, but uh, I also like Momi. This is really very, very nice color. And what else? Again, Schminke Horadam. Uh, probably that was some update of colors because uh, usually pro uh, producer producers of watercolors update uh, their uh, palettes uh, once a year or once for some time and then we have access to brand new colors sometimes they are very very interesting like for example this uh, pearly and uh, violet really fantastic color and uh, here is uh, 
more detailed uh, uh, swatching of uh, Schminky uh, all colors. I, res I I own almost all of them, but uh, I also had received some uh, dot swatches, so I could uh, try also those uh, which I don't have. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful part. Uh, another one update of Schminky Horadam. And some uh, colors uh, in division to Perlian, which are more uh, light fasted than the others uh, for uh, the kinds of ultramarines. Uh, uh, transparent or opaque uh, watercolors and uh, brilliant fluorescent these four colors they are really really very very nice uh, and again more detailed uh, swatching of sonnelier I like this uh, alizarin crimson, very, very nice color. And uh, some, another one <laughs> sketch. I think that was uh, uh, near the place when my cornflower family leaves uh, there are some very nice uh, this is the the uh, space with ice cream the lady which is preparing something uh, and some uh, lemonade and uh, ice creams very very nice place and people can sit here and uh, that was a special place with burgers, handmade burgers. Probably I've uh, bought this day uh, some Daniel Smith. Because if this is here, so this is probably kind of daily. And again, Sonnelier. continuation uh, here I see that uh, I did some uh, swatches of uh, Billy Shawl uh, shades Billy Shawl is a lady who is uh, painting absolutely fantastic flowers he I mean she is the 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 master of the master, I would say. I'm absolutely stunned by her work. But I will never paint like that. But she is doing this really fantastically. What else here? Very nice color, this forest green, as well as olive green. And earth tones, which are always nice and beautiful, and my beloved colors. Uh, this is the palette of Daniel Smith. Uh, per, um, uh, gl glittery colors mm, but unfortunately you can't see this very well because uh, I did these uh, swatches from uh, dot samples and in case of this kind of uh, 
colors, it's so hard <laughs> to dilute the right amount of um, paint for to, to for it to be visible uh, here. Most of them are very light anyway, so this is just. Uh, but that was uh, that was very good experience because after doing these uh, swatches from this uh, dot um, swatches, I decided not to buy these kind of uh, paints. I just bought one, and uh, will maybe buy one or two in the future. But uh, generally, I'm not going to to buy some. To to uh, to buy much more because, in my opinion, this is not worth of it. However, I guess it might be quite a different story if you use these paints straight from the tube, because then you don't have to uh, fight with uh, with dot or uh, with with uh, um, with paint which is uh, out of water and straight from the tube it might be might be quite nice but because these paints as you know are not cheap i'm not going to to fight with it okay and here we have some swatches of uh, watercolor pencils this is uh, Karandash Museum Aquarelle uh, Museum Aquarelle are the professional grade and uh, they are very light fasted and here are some colors I own and here again Daniel Smith some uh, colors uh, Primatec. This is very very nice uh, palette of colors. Uh, they sell this in small boxes with these six tubes. I especially like uh, uh, Jadeite Cream and Amethyst, but uh, but Pigment Green uh, Pigment uh, Genuine is also nice. You can see some uh, mixing colors here. And uh, this green appetite color is really very, very nice. I'm trying to show you this uh, precisely. Uh, I love these colors which are uh, which are spreading into uh, different shades. This is a very nice uh, chromatography. You can also see this here a bit. But uh, Daniel Smith has two absolutely fantastic colors. Uh, one of them is Cascade Green. And this Cascade Green, uh, it is uh, here. This green is really fantastic because there is uh, a bit of green, a bit of blue, a bit of turquoise. Here is turquoise, ultramarine, and here is uh, petalo, petalo turquoise. But uh, the cascade green, you can see many, many shades here. Another one color uh, of Daniel Smith, which is uh, also very very special uh, and I like it a lot is Rose of Ultramarine and this is here oh sorry this is just one color from one tube and you can see kind of pinks lighter and uh, darker some of blues, violets, it's really fantastic paint. You can have just one paint and and have all these effects uh, done. So this is really fun to explore uh, different uh, producers, uh, different paints, uh, 
the differences between uh, similar colors uh, from the different uh, producers, the new one colors, the special characters of, uh, uh, of colors. Uh, this is fantastic uh, journey. Uh, as I mentioned before, I did this swatch book uh, some years ago. Today, I would probably not to, to do such detail uh, swatches. But uh, that was uh, great fun. Oh, I didn't show you this one. This is uh, uh, one of the Schminky Horadam uh, palette. Very basic colors plus three metallic colors uh, gouache and here is watercolor and another one is uh, Daniel Smith and you can also see some basic colors here here is Primatech oh, you can see this here is Primatech palette and uh, very very nice special colors this Queen uh, Dan Sienna fantastic colors moon glow and cascade green I showed you before a while but also this uh, uh, undersea green very very nice so uh, of course all this stuff is uh, quite pricey so it's uh, always nice if you have uh, friends which are also interested as well as you in uh, uh, different art supply to uh, buy this together and to share uh, this it's a uh, much uh, better idea because usually uh, you don't need all tube of uh, the paint and uh, you can uh, buy some paints and uh, and share it thank you very much for watching i wish you all great health and be careful for yourself bye bye